December 6, 2024. Kerry Tipper, born December 11th, 1983, politician and attorney. Now, <clears throat> January was the beginning of a new indexing process for the year 2024. And what I've done for the last 17 years, uh, I pretty much got hired to build the algorithms in regards to building a super city, taking the conversations of our political leaders and actually being able to build a digital platform run by artificial intelligence that's run by the citizens of Denver, city and county of Denver, LLC. I've never called myself the city and county of Denver anywhere on anything. And the city has done its best to destroy me. But you can't destroy something that's already been destroyed. You follow me? And so what I did, because I know how they think, I know how they smell, I know how they look, I know how they talk, I know where they go, I know all their 5013 C's. And when I say me, folks, it ain't just me. Come on, man. Come on. I had to have some authority in order to get authority on the digital realm of things. And what this is, when you think about 1983, I was born in 1960. I'm old. I'm, tw I'm 23 years older than this girl. So uh, when I was 23 years old operating my nightclubs in Phoenix, Arizona, a nightclub, <clears throat> uh, singing in a band. Uh, guy walks into my bar and said, guess what, man? This chick named Carrie Tipper was born today. Oh, that's good. So if you move forward from that, from 83 to 93, I was 33 years old. I was being dehumanized by my <clears throat> federal government. One, because I'm indigenous. I don't care what the government says. They don't like Indians. It's in their blood. It's just the way it is. We've accepted it a long time ago. We don't play victim. We just, you know, do other things. Most of them get drunk and, and fight that stereotype of what Redskins supposed to look like. <clears throat> but it's weird because you watch them take Redskins off the football. They eliminated... It wasn't, no, no, I don't know any Indian that was embarrassed to be, the Redskins were on their helmets. Not one. They're like, damn Redskins, man, at least we got our, we got our skin out there. We got our skin in the game. Now they took that skin out. They took out Uncle Ben because somebody thought, I grew up, I thought Uncle Ben, my dad told me that he was a, 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 a cook and then he uh, invented the rice. My dad was white. He says, that's what you get for working really hard. That's what you get. You get your name on a box. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are. Boom. Uncle Ben's gone. Aunt Jemima, gone. So when you think about racism is, is what we think racism is. Because to me, all my black friends... They got the hottest chicks, man. Hottest. Two or three of them. Black, white, Asian, it don't matter. It don't matter. Um, they're all on the football team, baseball teams. They got everything, man. They're, they got all the entertainment networks. They're in all, they've got all the Super Bowl, NBA, all the events, anything that's tied to it. That's brilliant. See, I'm West Nigerian. You wouldn't know by looking at me. I'm the albino of the bunch. You hear me? I'm the Indian of the bunch. And it's weird because I'm connected to the Yoruba tribe. Go look it up. Look up who they are. Look at the god of technology, folks. See, I don't usually tell too many people this, but it's getting to a point to where things have to be told so that people that think they're powerful, like Carrie Tipper. Because in, it, so in, in 1993, when I think it was Clinton time, right? Um, uh, uh, 1992, 
Black Sabbath came out with an album called Dehumanizer, and it was a song called Computer God. And it wasn't until recently that it's now starting to become the go-to album if you want to look for um, signs. Hear them. Uh, so anyways, it was that album, it was that computer God song that started my whole life and where I became a fighter and not a victim. When I get around a bunch of people that are snobbling and and, and crying over their, their past. Now look, I don't mind people talking about their past. And when you cry to me, I don't want to cry with you, man. Because then it's going to stir up all my emotions. This just makes sure it doesn't happen to anybody else, ever. That's all we can do. Because the lines on my face came from crying, folks. Standing outside, getting signatures and watching the media. Telling me I'm a perennial. Watching these worthless journals try to battle me. And they have no clue. I'm waiting for that battle. And when they think I can do stuff now, I haven't even, I'm just the tip of the iceberg of what's coming. And it's all legal. And it's all about protecting our halls of justice. All the people that are connected to it. The judges have absolute authority over everything. If they knew what I knew, they would be changing shit so quick. It'd make your, their head spin. But they're old. Old dogs don't want to learn new tricks. Most of them can only do one thing at a time. Not very many people are superhuman, folks. And that's called metahuman. Someone that can, you know, Deepak Chopra, he was talking about metahuman, of uh, being metahuman. And I think what he did is took all my, he, he went on a search. He, he, somewhere, someone said something about metahuman. And so he went on a search to find out about how, and then he figured it out because he's a very intelligent man. <clears throat> and he's been manipulating conversations. Uh, I mean, he takes a poo-poo just like we do. And what I do, when I see somebody that's um, supposed to be, I mean, you can be supernatural, you can have all these powers, but you're going to get old. And eventually we go on to our next life. And there is next life, folks. We just come back and regurgitate. We're that, that, that spider that's crawling on the wall to go home to feed its kids, and we killed it on a wall. Or we see a, a ants walking outside our house. We go get bug spray, and we fuck kill them. The Bible says, thy shall not kill. It doesn't say, thy shall not kill humans, but everybody else we can kill. We do have to eat, but are we supposed to eat the meat that we're supposed to have to get all the cholesterol and all the other blood problems and all the sugars that all these Coca-Colas and all these big branding and all that poisoning everybody? Believe me, I quit drinking Coke. I only drink, like I said, I quit drinking Coke. I love Coke. I mean, I tried Coke when I was little. And, um, you know, I almost drowned on the ice. That's how, that's how crazy it was back then. But, uh, uh, I, 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 was, I had to change my heating habits. I was like, what? I got to take the... I didn't have insurance. This was like 93 when I found out I had cancer, man. Nobody gave a shit. This was after... No, this was during the dehumanizing process. And if I didn't have a white father, folks, if I didn't work in the eight... If I wasn't painting the house of... A, 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 of um, a vice president of AT&T, million dollar home in Scottsdale, Arizona, where the FBI broke in and did their stuff and took my gun and, yo, man, if I had my gun on me, it was in my boot. I never lied to them. Everything, especially when I, they want to know about my gun, what am I carrying it for, what do I need to carry a gun for, and I'm just like, oh, my God, man, these are some dangerous fucking people. This is why, you know, at first I used to I used to cooperate with everybody, man. Law enforcement, you name it. Yeah, man. I got nothing to hide. Shh. Folks, we need to teach our kids that the police are not our friends. Okay? They're not our friends. They 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 can't think that way. Their their mission is to protect and serve. 
okay? But what happens is because we don't elect our, our police chief and our sheriff department, see what, what we would have had done, figured out within the first 100 days of my campaign, of my uh, first 100 days of mayor if I was going to get elected. But I wasn't going to get elected because I already knew I wasn't going to get elected based off internet chatter that uh, Colorado um, Newsline and other identifiers um, started writing about that I wasn't getting on um, or they were talking about it, but it showed up in, I, I can't explain that. I, have to have to, I would have to show you, but it's above people's pay grades. I can only, this is trade secret stuff that I, that I design. Um, other people are using it, I can tell. And, but what happens is like with the city and county of Denver right now, they're building all these pages so that if you Google city, you Google court, you Google refrigerator, restaurant, news, everything comes up city and county of Denver. And they can't do that. Even Mayor Webb knows they can't do that. But see, Mayor Webb got his ass handed to him because they remember when they put the put the statue in. I mean, it was all leading up to the to the first woman mayor, and you got the same bobblehead whack-a-mos. That's the commercial that Kelly Bro put and made and tilting her head like, yeah, look at I'm a puppet. <laughs> but uh, see, what we did is we educated the people that were going to vote for the first woman to not vote. Because there's not one woman, in my opinion, that ran for mayor that, that and the reason why I say that this is that not any of the candidates, I tried reaching out to candidates because that's what I'm supposed to do. Hey, man, we're a team. Let's work together, man. Good luck. But if, but if I lose, I'm not endorsing anybody because what that does is it throws my whole, everything I work for, saying I'm the best, I got the plan, I got this. And then I went and endorsed somebody else. Those that do that, their political careers are over. Just ask Lisa Calderon. Leslie Harrod, she's probably not going to get reelected because everything that she does is why we have our streaks like this. Everything that Mike Johnston talks about being a representative and all this shit, you look outside, it's because of him. He He's a native of Colorado. I'm not a native of Colorado, and I'm ashamed that he's allowed... you see what I mean? They take these attributes that are now negative attributes. Oh, you're a native of Colorado and you still ignore the law. You're an attorney and you're still ignoring the Spear Amendment. How deep, I mean, what do these people need? They need an act of God now. See, I had this old retired judge, Democrat. I can't tell you who it is. I'll never tell anybody who it is. Anyways, folks, when you think about how things are, only, only the judges and the top attorneys who can do what their websites say they can do. And so what, what we're doing now, what's happening, and, the, and these lawyers don't know that, but we have to thin out the law, the, the lawyer gang. Um, there's too many of them. And there's people advertising on Craigslist. And Craigslist is a good alternative for people that are broke and are desperate for law. And so you go on there, and there you'll find, you'll find the big, the, the you'll find uh, that's why they can't advertise in the big, they, these are the, these are the, the lawyers that um, are working for like $10 an hour and, and just to get, just to get work. And they represent the cheapest people and they get the cheapest thing outcome and they always end up losing. At least that's what I hear when I talk to people that have used lawyers from Craigslist. I've used lawyers from Craigslist uh, because I'm one of those guys, right? I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not, I got no money, man. I don't want no money. I came in here broke. I'm going to be main broke. When you see what's my assets when I die is going to be negative, zero. And uh, it, it, that's just the way it is. And, and the people that I've gotten business with and that, they realized um, how things are. So anyways... This gives you a good idea right here, the snapshot. You, you know, 1983, look at this. This was uh, 19 or 2023. That's 40 years, folks. So when, in 1993, when I was 33, um, 
she was uh, 10 years old. <sighs> okay, when I was 10 years old, I was selling candy for Arizona Youth Incorporated in Scottsdale, Arizona, in Tempe, Arizona, and all the rich neighborhoods. And from there, we'd win contests. I, I ran four or five crews with six people on each crew. And I get a piece of that action. I, my dad was making a lot of money. He was an engineer. He's a professor. Uh, uh, I called him a professor. And, um, but he taught at Phoenix College for professors. So if you're substituting for a professor, you've got to be a professor yourself. Uh, uh, you know, my dad didn't like those kind of things behind his name. He was Pat Nelson, and that's what he is. My initials are M-A-N, folks, with a G. <clears throat> but it, originally, it's M-A-N, man. So what nobody understands about letters is that M-A-N is who I am. I'm a man. But in the 80s, dude looks like a lady. Dude looks like a lady. Go look it up. Google search Marcus Giovanni. You'll see me with my fair faucet hair. <clears throat> Anyways, I was just got off stage for that picture. Uh, but anyways, that was the good old days. And we have to grow up and let go, things go. But when you think about um, 93, you had 10 years to that, it's 2023. I was 43 years old. She was 23. And when you understand what I've done over the years, as far as meta tags, my, my experiences that match my meta tags, I was able to publish a book. It's not the best book. I mean, you got to take it. You know, I, I got people that read it and don't say shit. And they tell me everything. And wow, this is what happened to my blah, 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 blah. And then I'll get other people to say, you wrote this book? Dude, I'd be embarrassed. Why? I don't even have a high school diploma. He goes, exactly. And it, and, it, and you can read it that way. I, I, I wouldn't line my cat box with this. Oh, well, okay. Especially when you read where I lost, they took my children away, my twin daughters. They start accusing me of shit I didn't do, man. And it's what they do. And, and I'm all bowing white people and I look like a freaking farm worker. Bitch. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I always thought I was a heavy metal dude. That's all I thought with long hair. And I fucking look pretty. I, what can I do? Like, what do you want me? So late. So what I've done over the years is I just quit taking care of my face. And then when I went and stood out in the rain... In the cold, nine degrees, um, below 32 degrees for, for 10 hours. Folks, now I know what a mailman felt like. <laughs> but see how they do these, their, their ballot counting and all that, it's all corrupt. And, and Andrew Luxon, the judge of the district attorney gods, I used his meta tags. And I put code within all those court documents and I knew they weren't because I did they didn't send me the first denial so I filed another one and we were heard on January 6th the infamous sex day you know it happened January 6th right well I took advantage of it February I watched all the conversation Denver right now our colleges I could be teaching these professors to teach next level metaverse and what we can do with our children right now to where they could be responsible adult, adults. They don't want it. They get a guy like me, like, what the fuck are you doing? Do you want to, you know, it's like that little kid, the, the light goes out, the power goes off. And he, he's like, oh, the power went off. And we have four more hours to get our homework done. And the girl goes, and that's a good thing? And the kid's like, it's, it's okay in my book. And the girl goes, who are you? That's what's wrong with our, our, our kids, man. They put down the ones that want to do the homework, the ones that want to achieve. And so they put, who are you? Oh, that's so funny. Education, folks, is going to be the major social ranking authority and you name it, of all of all things. So while you watch the United States go backwards in education, while everybody bloviates it, oh, Cherry Creek School District. I met some of those administrators. I wouldn't let them babysit my kids, man. So, and, and I'll tell them that, and they don't like that. 
See, because when you speak up, they're gonna they're gonna send the, the school police after you. They're gonna send whatever they can to get you to stop because you embarrass them. That's the kind of power that these people elect other people. And that's why our schools are screwed up. Denver schools fucked my kids' heads up, man. Okay? They used to be, I used to homeschool. Yeah, man, I went to bed at, I, uh, early. We said prayers. They took my kids from me for six months. They took my other kids for forever. They were working on this time. And you wonder why people get pissed off and they snap. I don't snap, man. Mm -mm, not me, man. That's what they want me to do. That's what they try to get me to do. And I battle back with patience like a chess game. Manipulating my, my algorithms to true, false content. Knowledge-based, baby. Everything that they say, I index their voices back in 2011. The players that aren't there, they're by design. And all these people that want to talk about, oh, we're going to help the indigenous. Oh, we're going to help the brown people. Oh, we're, you got to help all people. As soon as you start breaking shit up in colors or you start, oh, I'm going to be the first Latina. I will not tell anybody if I, I don't ever, I told anybody that I'm the first um, indigenous that would have been mayor of Denver. But all those people that were saving the indigenous didn't want an indigenous as mayor because fuck, look what we can do. Imagine that. Indians can do this kind of work. She's Latina. What does that mean? What it means is nothing. This is her whole, she's being erased based off of her words, her actions, and being replaced by people that can really do. I could really go in there and run that whole department. Give me the law book. I'll study it. I'll scan it. I don't read like everybody else. I don't need to. So I can scan through a book and I can tell you everything. <laughs> That's what got me in, in trouble in school. They wanted me to sit there and read like everybody else. I'd do my book and the teacher would be like, there's no way you could have read that book. I watched you. You just flipped through the pages. Some of you stayed on a little longer. That's because it was interesting because... That's what happens. You start, when you're really paying attention to what you're reading, you come across some really cool content because of what you read previous. So that that buttons you up to what you scanned before that, that you already knew, and that's why you're reading that one page a little longer than you do others. And so what happened was, um, uh, I couldn't read like they did. I, I had trouble staying in the lines and my parents spent all kinds of money bringing in tutors and I was ADHD chronic. I got spanked until I was in eighth grade with a board, folks. Me and 